Malik's Malakai Woodley gave them a 12-minute lead at Serpentine Road against Fatima, and if Oba Samuel had connected to this centre from Ronaldinho Richards, it would have been two. Fatima found an equaliser in the 43rd minute, and it was an untidy affair, as bodies were falling all over. But Caden Chesterfield kept his head to slot home. 1-1 one, one at the half. Samuel skillfully tried to restore Malik's lead early in the second half, but went wide after dancing his way to the top of the box. The men from the drive were looking dangerous, with Ronaldinho and Samuel causing worries for the Fatima defence. But offside would be the call as this one hits the back of the net. Instead, it would be the men from Mukarapo Road taking the lead, as Malik's goalkeeper makes a meal of the throw-in and Michael Chavez was on spot to make him pay 2-1 Fatima in the 53rd minute. Just like that, they took over the match. In the 68th minute, it was 3-1. The Malik defence failing to box out the big man, Johansi Atherton, who nods home with power. It looked like more hair, but Logan Mingo grazes the top of the crossbar with his effort. The fourth goal would come for Fatima though. Chavez with a wonderful item to beat Omarion Worrell in the 81st, 4 1. Worrell and the crossbar thwarted efforts for more. Malik kept on battling though and pulled one back two minutes into added time. Woodley with his second of the match. That was all the action in this one as referee Timothy Derry blows the final whistle. It's Fatima 4, Malik secondary 2. That result taking Fatima College three points clear at the top of the standings. After second place San Juan North secondary lost 1-0 to St. Anthony's College. Green Cunningham, TTT Sport.